What's up, everybody? How's it going? If you've been on YouTube in the last month, you have likely heard of Devon AI, this brand new software engineering AI agent that is admittedly super impressive, can do a lot of things that real software engineers can do just as well, if not better, and is perhaps rightfully, causing a lot of stress and panic in the software engineering world because what if Devon AI takes your job? Well, in this video, I'm here to share with you the strongest single argument that I've identified for why Devon AI will most definitely not take your job. Now, for context, Devon AI, like I said, is very impressive. It can solve a lot of GitHub issues. It can go into existing code bases and uh, solve issues there. It can do Upwork tasks, so kind of like freelancing tasks. And it can even teach itself how to code if you give it documentation and other resources. So certainly reason to be alarmed. However, in order to understand why it will not take our jobs, you have to put yourself in the shoes of the businesses that would actually make the decision to replace your job or my job with Devon AI. So if you look at some of the best tech companies of the last two decades, like Google, Facebook, Amazon, NVIDIA, you'll notice that they have one thing in common, which is that they have realized that the cost of a bad software engineering hire is tremendous. A bad software engineering hire comes with onboarding costs, team ramification costs where they affect their teammates, and obviously production costs, potential production costs where what if this bad hire introduces a bug in the code base that we have to fix? What if they create a bad feature? By the way, this is why these companies have notoriously difficult interview processes, namely algorithm style coding interviews that are particularly good at weeding out false positives. In other words, there are very few bad software engineers that can pass these algorithm style interviews even though some good software engineers can fail them. And these companies are totally fine with that, again, because they realize how bad or how high the cost of a bad hire is. By the way, on that note, if you have interviews lined up right now in this terrible tech market, you definitely don't want to mess them up. You want to really prepare. Go check out my company, AlgoExpert, AlgoExpert.io. We've got the best software engineering interview prep products across all software engineering specializations and use the promo code CLEM, CLEM, for a discount on the platform. And by the way, as a business owner myself of AlgoExpert, I can definitely attest that the idea of a bad hire is really scary to me. If we had had a bad hire at Algo Expert, that could have really affected the company as a small company and prevented us from growing as fast as we did. But okay, how does this all relate back to Devon AI taking our jobs? Well, think about it. If these tech companies, including small ones like mine, are so uh, scared of a bad hire, why in the world would they risk replacing their existing good hires or their future good hires with an AI that comes with a lot of risks. What happens if the AI introduces a bug in the code base? Or what happens if the AI creates code that is a very sloppy and hard to maintain by other engineers in the future, costing them a lot of time and effort, which costs you, the business owner, a ton of money? What happens if Dev and AI can't perform a task and gets completely stuck and your entire development process comes at a standstill? You see, these potential risks that come with Devon AI or any other AI software engineering agent are so scary and come with such a high cost to the business that no sound business would ever take that risk. If you are a business that wants to stay in business, you will not risk it all just to save a few pennies on a software engineering hire or a lot of software engineers hire because you know that if Devon AI messes up, you could find yourself in a 10x or 100x worse situation than the situation of just having normal software engineers that cost a lot of money but that you know will perform. Trust me, there is no way that a sound business owner would do that. Instead, what a sound business owner is going to do is it's going to say, okay, I'm going to give Devon AI to all my software engineers to empower them, to make them two times more productive, three times more productive, 10 times more productive. You can think of Devon AI kind of like, I don't know, a tractor or a crane in the construction industry. I'm sure that way back when the tractors were invented, a lot of construction workers were panicking, like, am I going to run out of the job? Why would you need 15 construction workers to dig up dirt when you can just have one driving a tractor that can dig up the same amount of dirt much 
more easily. But the answer is not that you're going to replace all your construction workers with just a tractor. No, the answer is that you're going to equip all your construction workers with a tractor, with a crane, or with other tools to make them way more powerful at their job. With these ever-increasing capabilities comes ever-increasing scope of work, because suddenly you can build way more stuff. So you have more construction projects. And so instead of having replaced the construction workers, these tractors just made them even more in demand. And the same is going to apply to software engineers. Instead of replacing these software engineers, you're now going to have every single company equipping them with Dev and AI and other AI agents. And now the software engineers are going to be way more productive. You're going to have way more development, way more apps, way more websites, way more blockchains, way more stuff being built out. And you will have ever increasing demand for software engineers. Dev and AI is not here to take your job. If anything, it's probably here to make your job even more valuable. Now, to be clear, this doesn't mean that the tech market is not in shambles right now. What I'm saying is that the reason that the tech market is really rough right now is not because of Devon AI or other AI agents. It's because of interest rates and other things like the fact that companies realized they overhired during periods of low interest rates, but it has nothing to do with AI and AI will not be taking your job anytime soon, if ever. Let me know in the comments below if you agree with my take on this. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and follow me on all my other social media links. With that, I will see you in the next video.